So today we are going to start preparing this top for the final coat of jet black. So we've left our primer for a couple of weeks. So this is well and truly set up. So what we need to do now is sand this with 320 grit sandpaper, I think the data sheet says. So yeah, so we need to do that. I think we're going to do it by hand because the trouble is if we try and do it with by machine, there's a good chance we might rub through. So we'll see how we go on that. But there, this is set up really nicely. The finish actually is really good off the roller surprisingly good so we're uh, pretty happy with the way that turned out so um, we'll get some sandpaper and get this all flattered back ready for the top coat Okay, back on this top this morning. We had five hours yesterday flatting this down and we've got most of the flat surfaces done now. We've got the top done, all the sides, B pillars, A pillars, all looking really good. We just used some guide coat on these B pillars and then just used the rotary sander with 400 grit actually. And uh, they've turned out really nice. So we've just got the reveals left to do here and they also run along here. Uh, the reveal down the A pillar and then we've just got our gutters here to do so the canopy gutters these just need sanding down as well and then we're there a lot more work than we thought actually but I guess that was always going to be the case it's quite a complicated shape to sand so and we do want to get it absolutely perfect we've got a couple of areas where we've rubbed through I mean it's almost impossible not to do this on a corner um, tried really hard we've been deliberately not going near the corners um, but if you just catch it you just go straight through so uh, got a couple of those areas but we've been reliably informed by the paint supplier that actually jet black that we're using not a problem apparently the coverage is really good so even if we do go through shouldn't be a problem so hopefully we will get away with that so let's get straight into some more sanding
Okay, today is paint day. We finally get to paint this top. So uh, the sanding, we completely underestimated. It took us best part of two days in the end to get this completely flattered back. But we're now really happy with the finish. It's nice and smooth. And then this morning, we're just coming first thing and giving this a wipe down with the Alex Seal wipe down solvent. Uh, two rag method. So you just rub it on and then rub it off again, again to get rid of the residue. So it is now fully prepped. We've got the fans ready. It's about 18 degrees outside, maybe a degree or two warmer in here, so temperature's pretty much perfect for us. So we'll get some paint mixed and we'll get that applied. Alrighty guys, it is the next day and we left this overnight. In fact, we left the diesel heater on till well into the late hours of last night. We managed to get this up to about 26, 20, 27 degrees last night just to help this cure so or set up. And it's looking pretty good. If you think this has you know, come off a roller, the finish is pretty impressive. First coat, so it is thin. You can see it's thin here um, and we've got quite a few of those sort of thin areas, but not unexpected with the first coat and we have got just some little bits of debris in it as well which again in this environment is to be expected really it's uh, less than perfect but overall the results are really really nice we've got one very minor run just down here but I think we're going to leave that for now I think we'll just paint it again and then we'll be able to get that out at the very end hopefully with a flattened polish so we're not going to concern ourselves with that too much and almost inevitable again really but overall very very pleased with the first coat i think we're going to aim for at least three coats with this anyway so yeah but very very impressive off the roller uh, i'll just show you around the other side as well so again really really nice finish uh, we have got a little fly in here and uh, a few of the little, little bits of debris but again overall very happy with the results i think what we're going to do is any obvious bits of fluff or like with this fly here i think what we'll do is we'll just come along with a little bit of 320 grit and just rub those out which is what we started to do here just as a test piece uh, and that's fine so any big pieces of muck we'll just get those out and then we can then move on to the second coat
Okay guys, it's a week later. This top has now had three coats of the Alex Seal jet black paint and it is looking really good. So we were intending to put a fourth coat on. We thought last week that this would need another coat, but actually we've come to it today and we've had a good look around it and it's it's pretty nice. There's hardly any debris or trash in it. And actually we don't think we can get a, a much better finish than the one we've got. It's quite orange peely, but I mean if you consider this as off a roller, I mean that's it's pretty amazing really. Um, and with a thousand or maybe eight hundred and a quick polish, this will look we think really really good. So actually we're gonna leave it, we're not gonna play with it anymore. Um, we run the risk if we put another coat on of just getting more debris in it and we might end up actually in a worse place. Yeah, you can see the reflection of the camera up. That's pretty good considering if it's off, say it's off a roller. A pillars looking really good. The other thing as well is we've not got any runs in this. I think we had runs on the prior two coats, but no runs in this. So again, if we put another coat on, we run the risk of getting runs again. So I think we both agree actually, we just need to leave it. So this probably needs to be left now for probably at least a month, maybe longer at these temperatures to properly cure. So that's fine. What we'll do is we'll just remove the masking tape. We'll protect the areas that need protecting that we're likely to sort of brush by just to make sure we don't damage it. And then we can come back to this in a couple of months time and give it a good flat and polish. But yeah, you see around this A pillar that we repaired here, it's really happy with that. I mean, you've got little hair here, but it's just on the surface. It'll just pull off, so that's fine. Whereas previously we've got flies in it and lots of dust and debris, but this coat actually went on really well. And we did flat it first as well. We went round and flatted it completely all over with 320. Gutters look really good look, off the roller. So yeah, I, th I think this is perfectly good enough and uh, certainly we're happy with it. So what we'll do now is we'll get all of the masking tape removed. What we should have done is probably remove the masking tape a little bit quicker. We should have removed it within 24 hours. So we're just gonna have to very carefully now remove this masking tape. In fact, we might have to use a knife uh, along the edge because we've overlapped the tape. So uh, we might just run a knife down here or a scalpel very carefully and we can get all this tape off.
Right, so all that masking tape is now off and that has turned out pretty well actually. Bearing in mind that this is all going to be covered, there's a plastic trim piece that goes up here, so this is all going to be masked, which is why we've cho chosen the lines that we have all the way along the back here and all the way down the side. We've got a plastic trim that will be sealed in and we'll mask all of this. We did struggle a little bit where the, we'd use the yellow masking tape. That was probably not a good idea because the tape came over the top of it uh, and it was really difficult to get it off without it peeling the paint. So we had to just very carefully knife that off. So it took quite a long time to do. Where we'd use the fine masking tape, this blue stuff, no problem at all. And that's what we should have done in hindsight. But uh, every day is a school day, as they say, but overall that's turned out really well got a little bit of a leak here on the back corner just where it's popped through the masking tape but we'll be able to sand that and polish that that's not a problem not concerned about that at all and then on the sides here you can see the masking lines down here now there's actually we again we chose these lines because there's a, a canopy track that goes all the way up here and all the way along here so that transition will be hidden and then we have a stainless steel trim piece that goes inside here so again that will all be hidden and then we've got a nice transition over the back here so that line actually turned out pretty well so happy with that and same deal on the front as well all of the lines that we needed have turned out pretty good so the corner here is all nicely painted over so there's black mastic that will go in here so you're not going to see any obviously any of this gutter we've gone down far enough that inside there that that will all be cloaked okay that's going to be a wrap for today's video guys hope you enjoyed today's video if you did give us a thumbs up we'll see you on the next one